What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I am talking about Microsoft Flow triggers and actions. So this is a very basic intro into Microsoft Flow, showing you some of the basics, um, and the two basics being a trigger and an action. So what is a trigger? A trigger is something that will start a flow. So this could be um, a record being created in Dynamics, in SharePoint, in an email hitting your inbox, a tweet with a certain hashtag. There's loads of different triggers that um, you can use to start a flow. An action is something that you do after a trigger. So, you know, once you receive an email, do something else. Um, so uh, an action is, is the thing that follows on from the trigger and what you want the flow to do. So let's have a look at some triggers and some actions. I'm over here on the Microsoft Flow website. I'm in my environment and I've gone on to my flows and there's a button up top saying click uh, to create a new flow. Now, first thing you'll notice is that there are five options here. Create from template, create from Visio template, automated from blank, instant from blank, and schedule from blank. I'm gonna go over these in a different video. But now I'm going to choose automated from blank. You get this build and automated flow uh, menu here where you can give your flow a name, choose a flow trigger. So this is what we're going to be looking at. Um, or we can choose to skip this. In this instance, I am going to skip over this just to show you uh, the, the triggers in a different way. So we open up Microsoft Flow and this is the first menu we're greeted with. We have all of these, uh, all these triggers. You can kind of see the triggers here and there's a button for actions. You can instantly see from what is surfacing to us the amount of different triggers uh, that we have for Microsoft Flow. And this isn't even all of them. If we expand that, look at all of these triggers here. So this means we can do things based on certain actions. There's a YouTube one, there's a Power Apps one, there's a Schedule one. And I'm going to go through some of these um, in a bit more detail. Um, I'm just going to show a very basic one. So let's choose, uh, let's choose Common Data Service. I'm a Dynamics guy, I come from a Dynamics background, so something very easy for me to, uh, for me to look at. So we've got uh, when a record is selected, when a record is created, when a record is deleted, or when a record is updated. So when I choose the Common Data Service trigger in Flow, these are the four different triggers I have. Now it's different if we choose something like, uh, let's choose Twitter, Click on Twitter, and the only one we've got there is when a new tweet is posted. Uh, how about SharePoint? Look at all these triggers. So we've got uh, for a selected item, when a site has requested to join a hub site, when a file is created, when, when a file is created in a folder. We have all these different triggers to then start our Microsoft flow to then go off and do something. So let's go back to common data service and we're just going to choose when a record is created. So we click on this and it'll kind of log me in. So sometimes you'll get a credential pop up here. So if you're using an external service, sort of like Twitter or um, you know YouTube or anything like that, it'll prompt you for your credentials that it stores and then it'll go through and allow you to uh, use that trigger based on your environment. Uh, in this instance, it's detected that I'm currently working in a CDS environment and I have an environment here. So um, in the environment, we can choose uh, current or mass demo, which is my current environment. Um, entity, this is just a, a record type. So things like an account, for instance. Uh, and we can also choose the scope, uh, which goes through from user through to um, organization level. So. You don't need to worry too much about what these are in this instance. I'm just trying to get, get across the idea of what a trigger is and what can start a flow. 
Once we have a trigger, so once we have created a record, we can click on new step. And we can choose an action. So again, we have a full list of things that are actions. So if I just expand the list of connections here, again, these are all things much like the triggers are, that are actions that we can do in Microsoft Flow. So we can send a tweet, we can, you know, do something with Gmail, you know, add, add an appointment into a Google Calendar. Uh, we can pass something to MailChimp to do something. Um, we can, you know, um, get an RSS feed and, and send and do something with an RSS feed uh, or add something to an RSS feed. So each one of these connectors here has a set of options that we can do with it. So let's choose one. Uh, Let's choose on so Microsoft to do. I love Microsoft to do. So as we choose Microsoft to do, it gives us a list of two actions that we can do. We can add a to do uh, version two preview, and we can list all to do. So what this is saying is we can um, add an item to a to do list, or we can go off and get all those Microsoft to do um, list list items that we've got. If we go back again, again, if I start talking about common data service. Um, so in that, um, in that trigger, we had when a record is created, when a record is selected, when a record is updated. In here, in actions, we have create a new record, we have get record, we have list record, or data record, or delete record. So we're getting all these different actions that we can do off the back of uh, the back of this. So uh, in this instance, I just maybe want to use a notification. So we can send a email notification to someone when a record is created. And that's all this is going to do. So we're saying when an account is created, you're going to send an email notification. And that's the basics that is understanding what a trigger is, and then what an action is off the back of that trigger. So trigger is how you start your flow. Action is what you do in your flow. I hope this was useful. I hope this is just a, your first, you know, dip a toe into the water for finding out what Microsoft Flow does. And I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.